This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today we're going to talk about giving yourself a jump start in the early game. Let's get to it. Okay, so the easiest way to get a nice jump start early game and it's almost, I figured out a way to do it almost flawlessly without having any type of issues really running into anything. You can make a straight V line for it is head up to Sepper Maru and you can see there is a ton, I don't know why I always click that button, there is a ton of chests up here. You can see the loop that I've made here. And that's what we're gonna do. So I reset myself to level one. You can see, right, well, apparently I just gained a level, so now I'm level two from just standing here. Let's fix that. Okay, I'm back to level one. So as you can see, we're level one, and uh, we're just going to run straight down the way here. Now, on your way down, you wanna pick up a bunch of the uh, plant fiber and insects. Just harvest all of these bushes on your way through. Now, you can do this path at any level, the path that I'm going to show you once we get to Sepper Maru. And you can go in there and you can just go to each of these chests and harvest them. And I highly recommend it because you will not only get a ton of uh, thick leather, you will also get steel plus a bunch of other goodies. But I want to show you that it's possible to do this at level one and just for those early games because you can get metal tools. Now, yeah, they've had some use and they're, they're wore down, but you could get lucky. I got one uh, the other day that uh, had 200 durability on it, which is not bad. And I mean, early game, that metal tool that quick with uh, with just making one pass through Sepamaru is, is going to be really helpful to you. Plus, you're going to get a bunch of levels going, just going there and going through it. As you can see, we just gained a level here. Now, I'm on all the default settings, default gather rates, default stamina use, default default pretty much everything so you can see uh, how this will go because this is the experience that you'll get on official servers. Now, if you play on a non-official server, your experience may vary a little bit, but the one downside is, is I did not create a new character. I didn't want to lose everything that I already have going on in the game for future videos, so you're not going to get an accurate representation of the experience that you're going to gain running through here because discovering the new areas and doing your uh, journeys, which you will do a bunch of them on the way uh, there, you're, you're gonna miss out on that in this video. So you'll get that, you'll get that extra experience by doing all those. So as you can see, we're just going through here, we're just harvesting all this up. We're not gonna worry about any tools. I don't care about rocks. I only really care right now about getting enough insects and stuff, uh, the plant fiber, to make myself a little bit of armor just in case we do get hit. And the insects for food, because we're gonna, we're gonna need food. This is gonna take a little bit and we're, we're hungry mofo, so we're gonna eat a lot. So the path that we're headed through is we're gonna head down to right about here. We're just gonna keep going, and we're not gonna go all the way to the river there. And we may, we'll, we'll go to the river once we need to cross it, but we're not going to go to it until it's time to cross it. So and let's go ahead, just craft up our initial cloth armor here, just so we have a little something on us. So we'll craft that up. And now we're gonna just run. We just got a little bit of running to do here. So we're gonna stay on this side. We don't wanna get too close because if we stay on this side, we can essentially bypass everything. As long as we stay right in here, we won't have to fight anything. If we come down in here, we run along the river, we have a bunch of random stuff to fight, which we don't wanna fight stuff. So this, the whole purpose of this is doing this at level one. If you're not level one and you don't care and you don't care about fighting stuff, then just, just go go ham and go kill all the things. So we may be, remember right, there should be like a spot right up in here. Let's just head on over this way. I don't remember if there's a path over here or not. Yeah, right up here. We should be able to climb right up here. And then this just bypassed most things. You can climb surprisingly far at level one. Like, look at this. This isn't a problem for us at all. So we're just gonna climb right up here. Now we just bypassed a ton of stuff by doing this. And we could have ran a little further forward if we wanted to. You don't have to climb this. We could have been right up in here. Should have been fine as well. Uh, but I just stayed to the back. Last time I did this, I was a little, little bit further forward, but I wanted to see uh, how far back we could stay this time if we could have any issues climbing up this. So we're just gonna climb right up this. And this should put us 
really close to where we need to be to cross over. And then we'll, we'll get that much needed drink that we need here. Now, you may not know, but you can eat the bees as well as the insects. So, I mean, you know you can eat the insects, but if you look here, you can see my food going up from eating the bees. So eat those bees too. So we'll just uh, do that there. Get used to clinging to the walls. If you haven't practiced that at all, we're gonna be doing a lot of that, jumping down and clinging to the walls. So we got a few of these little guys right up here. We're just going to run right past those. And we're almost to where we need to be because where we want to cross over is right in here. Oh, I got a guy behind me. I should not have stopped. So we're just going to keep moving. And those little guys won't chase very far. Take your breaks. Go, switch back and forth from a jog to a full-on run. So that you can keep your stamina up and keep your distance from anything that's chasing you. Now you should not get hit as long as you pay attention and you're not tabbing out trying to do a video like I'm doing. So we're just gonna keep keep running through here. Now none of this stuff will be, well, you may have more stuff on your server that you're playing on, who knows. But we're gonna run past all this junk that from previous videos here. I'm gonna pick some bushes as I go along. And we're gonna keep heading down the shore here. Now we're almost close to the spot. The spot we want is right there. Now at this point you can just jump in the water if you want. And you can actually bypass a lot of stuff by getting in the water. Now you're going to run out of stamina, but it's no big deal because your stamina is really not. It doesn't matter if you run out of stamina in the water. It will matter, however, if you come up out of the water and you need to fight. So that's something to keep in mind. But right there is the spot that we're looking for. And you can see we got pretty much a clear shot. There's a gator over there, but I'm not too worried about him. We can bypass most of the stuff. He doesn't even see us. And we're just going to swim over this way. I'm gonna make it daytime real quick. So we're just gonna make a straight shot for that little incline right there and that's going to take us up to the next level where we need to be. Now there's another thing you could do. You can run through that camp over there but it's a little more sketchy trying to run through the camp and I'm not gonna try to do that. I found a way that you can do it and really just you don't have to worry. You don't have to fight anything. There are some hyenas but you can actually just bypass them completely. I'm gonna harvest these berries too. So we're gonna make sure we get those. Cause uh, the more food we have, the better. It's gonna make make things a little bit easier on us here. So we'll grab that. I'm gonna take one more drink, make sure my drink's full. And uh, we'll grab a little bit more of these berries. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run up this way. And there's a pretty, this, this pathway that I'm showing you is pretty much a straight shot nothing attacking except those little bit of imp dudes there but uh like i said we shouldn't have got hit there i just wasn't paying attention you can actually do this without any issues uh no aggro from pretty much anything i shouldn't have been aggro by that dude but i wasn't paying attention to my location and, and where he was relative to me uh so what we're gonna do now is there's hyenas right there so you just hug this rock over here but luckily enough, the imps aren't that big of a deal. Unlike the hyenas, the hyenas will, will pretty much kill you. But those imps, you can take a little bit of a beating from them. And then we're going to head straight for this rock right here. Just make a straight line for this rock. We shouldn't run into anything. But I like to make a straight run for it just in case we picked up any aggro. And then what I like to do is cling here. And then just, just check. Just, just take a look. See, he's still over there. He doesn't care. And I, There's one over there. See him right beside my armpit. And there are two over there and they don't care. So now we can just fall down and we'll let our stamina regen. And now the path that we're going to take is just following right through here. And we, we shouldn't run into anything else at this point. It's it's a straight shot. Well, not a straight shot, but um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like an uninterrupted shot. You're, you're not going to have... There's a camp up there, but you can completely avoid that camp. You just run right through here like this. There's hyenas right there. Once again, you're not going to be affected by them because we're not gonna get close enough to them that they're gonna even notice us. So we'll just run right through here and I'm not even not even worried, not even gonna look, not even gonna look, don't even care. The camp, don't even care about that. Now the interesting thing about this pathway is uh, there you get to a point where there's just nothing. You don't even have to like keep a lookout or keep your distance from things because there's just nothing. They didn't put any spawns in the pathway that we're taking here. And we're pretty much to that spot right now. So we're gonna head up this way. And I know this may be a little bit boring, but I wanna show this for new people. And I'll put a timestamp in the description if you just wanna skip to the uh, chest gathering for those of you who are late game already. But I wanna show early gamers 
the pathway that they can take here to get a, I mean, this is a really good start. Like this should be the first thing you do as soon as you you jump into a new server. Just because the the sheer amount of stuff that you can get from this these chests can give you a massive, massive kickstart in this game. So then we're gonna just run through here and follow the wall. See the wall right there? And there's just nothing here. Like you can gather up all these sticks if you want. I mean, you wanna watch your weight because we're gonna we're gonna weigh ourselves down with a bunch of stuff. But um I mean, there's just nothing, and you can just take your time, gather up the sticks if you want. You are gonna need drinks, so that's one of the reasons that I don't like to stop. I mean, you can come back for that stuff, but we're gonna get thirsty here soon, so I'm gonna try to, to keep moving. We also have to eat a bunch of bees. But see, there's like nothing here. We're going right past the unnamed city, and in between it and the wall, it's just an empty desert. There's no scorpions, no nothing, and we just run this pathway through here. All right, so I'm gonna shut my mouth now and I'm just gonna speed up this just a little bit because it's gonna be rather boring. Okay, so if you are on a server and you're getting a fresh start, here might be a half decent location just to set up a little hovel, like right in here or anywhere in here if it's not already taken. You have a ton of resources around here. You can see we got bushes up there, tons of iron, tons of stone, coal, and a little patch of trees here. You don't want to interfere with these trees, so I highly advise like putting it somewhere out there in the distance, maybe like right in there or over in over in there. Uh, or right where that rhino is, but you don't want to mess with those rhinos early game So I would advise not messing with those rhinos early game But uh, yeah, just far enough away You don't mess with these trees because they're a source of wood and you got plenty of stone and you could set up Just a little hovel right around here somewhere to store all of the stuff in that we are about to collect And this is where we want to get started at we're right at our starting spot here so we're just going to run over here now here's the thing with Sepamaru is they've changed it up a lot of the npcs in there are not hostile but there are some hostile npcs there so you have to be careful because there are npcs that will want to kill you now mid to late game they are not going to be an issue for you you will just waste them with no problem early game level one they're going to own you so the path that i'm going to show you is designed to avoid any type of interaction with any hostile npcs uh, and pretty much most npcs in general and once again if you're mid to late game you can just come straight to these chest locations so here we go what we're going to do is we're going to jump up here and we're just going to climb this wall and then we're going to jump down on the other side of it here and we're gonna head straight for that wall right there. We're gonna avoid this guy. I don't think he's hostile. Also, I do not have cloak on. You can see, cheat active cloak, cheat deactive cloak. I also do not have god mode or stamina or anything like that on, so I will take damage and uh, I'll show you here. As you can see, everything is unchecked. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to climb up this. And then you may think you may not be able to climb this far, but you can. Like I said, you can climb a surprisingly far distance at level one with no points in stamina or anything like that. Like, look at this. Just made it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to run over here because this is going to be our first chest. Now, what I recommend is throwing anything out you don't need if you didn't store it. So we're gonna throw out all that, all that, and I have my armor, so I don't need that. I'm gonna keep these bugs just in case so I don't have to harvest. Look at this, pickaxe. 32 uses, but still, it's a pickaxe right from the get-go. That's a metal pickaxe and uh, a gray lotus potion, which is cool. So right there you go. So that's a few of your, your uh, what are they called, the journeys. Forgot what they were called there for a second. So that's your journeys right there. I mean, there's the one that drink a potion. You just drink that potion, don't matter. And uh, now what we're going to do, if we take a look at the map, so this is our first one. Now we're gonna head for this. This is going to be the armor stand that gets us the Shemite armor, or the Relic Hunter armor, I mean. So that's right there. So we can jump over here and get that. 
And then there we just learned the Relic Hunter armor. Now we're going to climb back up here and we're going to jump over this or climb up that. And then we're going to climb up this wall. Now we're just going to hang on the outside here and just run, run along the edge. So we get to right here. So we'll just run along the edge here. And this pretty much makes a loop so that you can just keep doing this over and over and over again following this, this path. So our next chest is right here. Uh, we also have one right over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop down and we're going to grab that one first. Those people there and those people there will not mess with you. So we can safely fall down here and we should be all right. See, they don't care. And now what we're going to do is climb up this. And then we're going to climb up this. And then we'll grab this little chest right here. Take that. Got some more stuff. Now we can start replacing some of our armor with, with this armor. Because you can see only armor value of 6 but an armor value of 1. So we might as well just ditch that and start equipping that. And we should get a bunch of this armor as we're going through here. Now you may not like it but early game who cares what you look like. It provides more armor for you if you get attacked than what the previous armor was giving us. So now we're just going to climb up this way. And we should be able to climb right up to here and then we'll stop. Now we want to climb up to this just to give us a little bit of a boost here. We're going to eat a bunch of insects. If you find any food on your way to you while you're doing these chests and you can find food, make sure you just use that and eat that. So we should find some, some decent food here. I think I found some jerky and some other stuff. So now we're going to climb all the way up to the top of this. And we should just make it. Now, as you're doing this and you're leveling, you can start putting your points in uh, encumbrance and grit. So we can go over here to our attributes and we can put one in encumbrance and we'll put two in encumbrance and one in grit just to make things a little bit easier. But you could seriously do this without ever spending a point. So here you go. Here's your gas orb. So you can go ahead and use an orb, throw that at wherever or whenever you want to. That will help you with another journey. And now we're going to run over this way. And if you take a look, our next chest is all the way down here. So that's where we're going to run to. We're just going to bop down here. Now, the easiest way to do this is jump up on the ledge or just jump backwards very easily. I just like to fall off the ledge just a little bit and then catch and then catch. And then there you go. And now what we can do is if you take a look here, since this is our next chest, we can actually fall down the side here. And then just run along the outside. Makes things a bit quicker. Now, to find these chests, if you want to take a look here, if you want to take a screenshot of this, if you point yourself at any of these chests, like you should be able to find them no matter where you're at. Um, they're pretty much any, any location around here. As long as you're pointed close to it, the tip of your arrow is right on the tip of the symbol, the chest symbol here. You should be able to see it. So... Uh, just to give you a little heads up there. I that's how I, I marked them in all of them. I just put my uh, pointer there, my arrow person marker, and then uh, pointed it right at it and then put the thing right at the tip so that it would be easy. So if you just point out if you're having a hard time finding it, here's the next one. So we're going to go ahead and harvest that one. Now what we can do is we can swap out those pants and uh, we can also swap out the gloves. We're slowly replacing all of our armor. We've gotten a bunch of ivory arrows. We've gotten a bunch of iron, some steel, potions, candles. You can keep whatever you want, but I'm going to I'm gonna keep and throw out the stuff you don't want, but I'm going to keep a majority of this stuff so that you can see it as we're doing it. So now's your going to be your chance to get a drink if you need it. We're going to fall off the back of this, and we're going to do the same thing over here. And you should be all right to run straight through here. What Our target area is over there. If you've ran out of food, you can pick the bushes here as well. So you can pick these and you should be fine. Uh, that guy, I don't think is hostile. Th there's maybe some hostile people over there. So um, I wouldn't wouldn't go over there. Pretty sure there's some hostile people over there that'll chase you. But if you just skirt right through here, you should be absolutely fine. I haven't went through and found all of the hostile people. It was easier to find a path avoiding the most amount of people as possible. So that's what I did. So I'm not sure where all the hostiles are, but I know the path that I'm showing you doesn't lead into any, if that makes any sense. So we're going to eat these bees. 
We're just gonna eat a bunch of these insects, fill our food up. And uh, as you can see here, we are fine here. Nobody there cares. So now we're at our next location for our next chest, which is right there. So what we're gonna do is climb up this. And once we get to the top of this, you should be able to see, well, no, that's right. The other one's over there. So now we're going to just jump over these, head over this way. You could also just run past those people. You should be all right if you want to do that. But once again, I'm trying to stay out of harm's way and avoid as many as possible. And take a look here. Yeah, so if, if I'm not mistaken, it's right up on the top of this one. So we should be able to get a break here. Because you're going to need a break in order to do this. Because that's a bit of a climb there. So that we'll take a break. Let our stamina regen. And then we will climb again. And then right there's the chest. So we can just uh, hop over here. Climb up it, and bam. That one's only got gold in it, but, you know, whatever. Gold's gold. Now, our next chest that we're going for is that one right over there. And it's a little bit trickier. So what we're going to do is we're going to head for... There's two, two ways you can do this. Uh, you can go through here, and you can go this way. Or you can grab this one and go around this way. Uh, either way, it's, it's whichever you prefer. You're going to end up making a loop. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way you want to do it. I like to go ahead and just get this one out of the way. So there is a guy here that has chased me before, and I think it's that guy there. So you got to kind of be careful here. But it's completely doable without, without running into uh, anybody. There's a guy that paces just while you're up there. Make sure he's not pacing in front of here. And then you're just going to make a straight run for this little tower right here. And then climb up it. Once you get to the top, uh, there are archers, but once you get to the top of these, most of them won't be able to hit you and they'll lose aggro. And now we're going to climb for this one. Then we're going to let our stamina regen a little bit. We're going to climb up here. You want to get as high as you can before you start climbing this, this beast here. So there we go. And now we're going to climb up here. Now this chest will have a bunch of other random... Look at that. Steel cleaver. Bunch of other goodies there. More uh, ivory arrows. We're up to 22 ivory arrows already. 48 steel, 22 iron. It's a really good run. That gives you one heck of a jump start. That guy right there, pretty sure that's the, the pacing guy that attacks you. So just wait for him to get out of the way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a straight run for that wall right there and climb that. You can also go back over to that way and climb up and over, but it's easier just to make a straight shot for that wall over there. We'll just fall down here and uh, go through here. Fall to here. And then you can just come to here. Those guys don't really care about you. And now we'll run straight for this wall. Let our stamina regen and then climb it. And this is going to put us on the path for the rest of these chests. And allow us just to do a straight up loop here. And uh, just keep eating your insects. This is why we pick so many insects on the way. Just keep uh, eat enough to keep your food, you know, from starving. I can't, usually you'll find food. I'm surprised we haven't found any food yet. And then there we go. More leather, more steel, more arrows. And our next chest is right over there. You can actually see it from here. So we're just going to jump down here. Catch on our way down like we've been doing. And then we'll climb right up this. Climb up this one. Climb up this one. And then I actually could just run around there. Climb over this one here. What we're after is just a to skirt around right here. You can actually just like jump down there and then like run over here. As you can see, there's there's nothing there. And now, oh, almost missed it. We're going to uh, head over to here. And then we can jump up that and climb that and then climb up that and there we go. There's our next one. Some silver coins, nothing too special in that one. Now, if we take a look at the map here, the next one that we want to go after is right here and this will take us back around this way so now we're gonna go right over to here and this is going to give us a chance to get a drink of water if we need it and uh, which we uh, we seem to be doing okay on water but if for any reason you need a drink of water we can just uh, jump down here and do that and there we go so we'll refresh our water eat some insects while we're in here and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna swim over towards this way right here so just gonna swim right through here 
There shouldn't be anybody here that'll mess with us. You can just jump up here. Come on over here. Keep swimming. Just keep swimming. And then we should pop out right. We're going to pop out right here. Now, if we take a look, our next chest is right up here, right above us. So what we can do is just come right over this way. And you should be all right here. There shouldn't be anybody to attack you here. And we're just going to climb right up that and it's right here. We'll grab that one. We got all kinds of goodies with that one. We get new armor pieces. Nope. Gloves. Let's check our durability. 129, 85. We'll trash those and put those on instead. Now what we're going to do is make our way over to that chest there. So we'll just run down here. We can run past all these people. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a crap about us over here. And we'll jump up here. And we'll just run right through here. As you can see, nobody cares. Check our map. Oh, it's, that's right. It's right up here. There we go. So we'll take that. And uh, now we're going to jump down and walk through here. Because our next one is over here. Past all of these people. And it's right up there. So you can run past all these people. Nobody cares about you. None of these people should attack you. And we'll just climb up to the top. Grab that one. Oh, I think we have the... Uh, nope, we're still missing the chest piece. Let's check the pants situation. So 64, 98. The ones we have on are already better. So the next chest we're going after is this one right here. So we will just come down here. And then run over this way, and I think it's like right here. Yeah, there it is. Kind of, uh, well, not really hidden. It's just not really super easy to, to get to. Not like the other ones. It's on like this weird little ledge thing. So we'll take all of that. Let's check the gloves. 107, 129. We'll toss those. The next one that we're going after is right up top, right there. So I like to try to just bypass all of these people that are over there. So what we can do... We can just run over here and we can scale this wall here. And that just assures that nobody down there is going to attack us or mess with us. Uh, we should be all right just to, to climb this and just head right over that way. That Climbing that is going to get us level with that anyway. So it just makes things a little bit easier. If you catch that just right, you can do that. If you don't make it, you're going to take some damage. It's going to be hurting. Uh, we're going to let our... Stamina regen, then we're going to jump. We should be able to climb right to the top of this. Uh, I don't think we'll have any problems. It's going to be pretty close, but we should be all right. Like I said, you have an insane amount of stamina. Way more than you think you have to climb a lot of this stuff. Oh, it's going to be close. There we go. And uh, now we're just going to let our stamina regen again, and then we'll run and jump. And, uh, oh look, we got a truncheon and gas orb, more iron and steel, we'll take all, let's check the pants situation, 98, oh, yep, those are way better. Okay, so the last one that we're going for is right up there, see it up there? That's our last one in our little, uh, pathway here, so we're just gonna fall down this way. And then we can run along this wall here. And if we just come through this way, we should be fine. There's some bandits and stuff over there, but the uh, rest of these people, I don't think they'll mess with you. So we can just run straight through here. And now's your chance. If you need a drink of water, you can get a drink of water. But for some reason, our water is not going down. I don't know why. And then climbing this is, is relatively easy because there's so many different little levels that you can uh you can climb it Whoop! we might be stuck there we go you can climb it really 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 easy okay so the easiest way i found to do this one just get to the base of this one we'll climb to right here let our stamina regen climb to right here oh maybe not climb to right here should get on this ledge here well now it's being janky if you can't do that you can also climb this one let your stamina regen and then do that like that and there we go. That's our, our final one. Oh, look, we got some gruel. So let's take a look at all the stuff we got from, from doing this. 
So we got some gold, some silver, some blast flasks, some green dye. We did get an iron pick. We got 37 ivory arrows, eight iron head arrows, a bunch of ra 15 razor and 11 steel, 238 thick leather and 140 steel bars. I mean, 40 iron bars. I've gotten hardened steel as well. Looks like this time though, it was just a uh, steel bar and a lot, a lot of leather, a lot of thick leather. We had some witch fire powder, some wolf pelts, some bunch of stuff that you don't care about. Steel cleaver, which is really nice. Uh, some shaped wood, some silver coins, bunch of, oh, we did pick up a grilled steak. Let's go ahead and use that at some point there. Uh, but you can see we got a lot of stuff here that will help you get started early game and a lot of stuff that will help you get through those initial journeys like throwing throwing the orbs or using the orbs or whatever. Just picking up a bunch of these different bars are going to get you a bunch of quick levels early game. Now the great thing about this is is right over there is where we started. So once you're once you're done here, you can actually just jump and uh, come across here like this and then we can slide down the, the way here and we can cross right over over there so we'll just grab that and easy does it we can go right down the side oh we lost a little health on that one right down the side there and uh, these people here do not care about you they're just cooks and stuff and then this brings us right back over to uh, almost to right where we just started we can climb up here and then we can just run right over there and go to that very first chest that we got and once again there's nothing over here to to mess with you nothing to attack you nothing like that it's just a continuous continuous loop that you can do and it takes what maybe maybe a half hour once you get once you get the hang of it and you don't have to keep looking at the the map every five seconds you could probably do it really really quick maybe 15 minutes and as you can see this one has already reset this was the first one that we came to and it's already reset look a heart of a hero that's pretty cool bunch of bunch of goodies in there we'll take all and uh so if we go to the next one which uh is over that way and i'm just gonna fly over there real quick just to show you that one should be reset as well so this one here Take a look at that one. You can see that that one's reset as well. Look at that, an exceptional iron mace. That's a good uh, good weapon for you there, early game. And take all of that. So, I mean, that's a really, 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 really good haul for to get you started early game, like when you're just starting out, even mid to late game. That's still a really good haul of items. The ivory arrows are really good. Uh, they do, I mean, 15 damage. The razor arrows at 14 damage. Look at all that steel and all of that thick leather and we didn't have to kill anything. Now, what you could do before you go to do this uh, round a second time or third time or however many times you want to do it is you could just run back out here to your little, little hut or hovel or whatever that you made, drop off all of your stuff and then go back and do the whole thing again and, and do that a couple of times. It's gonna get you levels, it's going to get you a ton of goodies to, to start the game with. And I just thought it was really handy and I just wanted to uh, point it out and show it to everyone because I, I feel like there's not a lot of people that know, well you may know about the chest but you may not realize how much actual good stuff you can get from those chests, especially early game or may not realize that you can do it at level one. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.